our privilege today to be share this special day with Cody and Danielle. They're taking a big step. I want to be husband and wife. Wow, we're, we're proud of you. Glad for you, Cody, Danielle. I ask you as you stand together here in the presence of God, before whom all the secrets of our hearts are known, that you have considered the covenant you are about to make, that you declare before God and your friends and family your pledge of faith one to another. I had a thought, dear, however scary, about that night the birds and the dirt. Why were you digging? What did you Since I was a little girl, I have dreamed of this very day, the day that I would get to marry the man of my dreams. Today with you, my dreams are coming true. In just a few hours, I'll get to marry my soulmate. Six years and five days ago, you walked into my life and I haven't looked back since. Together we have built a life that I love and that is something to be proud of. I love you more with each passing day and cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'll see you at the altar. I love you forever. Love always, Danielle. Hi, Danielle. It's our wedding day. I couldn't really sleep last night because I was just too excited for our day. The day that I can call you my wife. I can't help but to think back on all of the memories we've shared over these last six years. From the very first time we met, and neither one of us knew where it would take us, I've known for a very long time that I could never find nor want a love that is as strong as yours. I find myself often looking at you and wondering just what it is about you. I could listen to a million different reasons as to why I love you, but it just never seemed enough because you are my soulmate and the most special woman on this earth. So thank you, Danielle, and I love you. Now let's have fun. Love, Cody. Honey, just put your sweet lips on my lips. We should just kiss like real people do. Friends, we're gathered together in the sight of God and in your presence as witnesses as we join together Cody and Danielle on Christian marriage. Love is kind and patient. Love rejoices in the truth and not in evil. Love is always supportive, loyal, hopeful, and trusting. Love never fails. 
Be well assured that as these solemn vows are kept as sacred and permanently as God's word demands of us, if you steadfastly both endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage, God will grant you fulfillment in it, and God will establish your home in peace. Cody, six years and five days ago, you walked into my life at a time when I least expected it. And I can honestly say, from that point, I've never looked back. In six years, my love for you has never wavered, and I promise it never will. With some of the most incredibly fun, challenging, and unbelievably beautiful years behind us, I am here today to promise you that I will love you for an eternity. You have given me the greatest gift of my life, love, a best friend, and now a husband. I promise that through each stage of life we move through together, I will appreciate you, challenge you, and respect you. I vow to always support you, you and your dreams, encourage you, and cherish our union. I promise to continue to love you so deeply without any fear or hesitation that the word doesn't even begin to cover it. Today and always, I give you all of me, my heart, my soul, my forever. I love you. Danielle, I know that I'm telling you these words today, but I just want to let you know that I've meant every one of them and lived by these words over the past six years. And I will continue to do so for the rest of our lives and even after eternity. I truly believe that we are made for one another. We are exactly the same in many ways. You bring me a balance, a joy, and placidity. I promise to always take care of you and to be your greatest source of strength. I get to spend the rest of my life with my best friend where there are many out there who don't have the same fortune. I promise to dream with you and to work towards all of our goals and dreams together. Maybe we'll reach them, or perhaps we won't, but I will always challenge you to work harder and to dream bigger. I vow to always give you hugs and laughter as we journey through life together, and even as we grow old hand in hand. I just promise to never stop trying and to not only see this marriage through, but for you to know that with every second and every day that you will always be loved. Even when you ask me a hundred times a day if I love you, <laughs> just because you enjoy hearing the affirmation of it, my answer is and always will be yes. And that is my greatest promise to you. Heavenly Father, bless the giving of these rings. We thank you for the symbol of unending love, which is what they mean. For as much as Cody and Danielle have consented together in the holy covenant of Christian marriage, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together. You may kiss your bride.
Danielle has been a true inspiration to me. She has always been honest, confident, and unapologetically herself. I want you to know that I've always been and will continue to be one of your biggest supporters in life and now in your marriage to Cody. For the past six years, Danielle and Cody have continued to show us the true meaning of love. I can honestly say they are perfect for each other. You take one look at them and the idea of meant to be is in its truest form. I love you both so much. Let us all raise a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Cody Orr. Cheers. Over the years, there were many days with my daughter that were memorable and wonderful in their own unique way. She has brought me many smiles and laughs over the years. As a child, Danielle was outgoing, strong and loving, something that she has brought into her adult life. Everything she has accomplished in her life has made me the proudest father I know. And today is another one for the books. Today has been a wonderful and beautiful day that I will always remember fondly, surrounded by all the people that mean the most to my daughter and my new son-in-law. It's wonderful to know that Danielle finally met someone who perfectly compliments her. Cody is someone I would have been happy to call my son, and now I call him my son-in-law. Congratulations to you both, and thank you, Cody, for making my daughter so happy. All the best in her marriage, and may we hope that the love and happiness they share now will be carried for the rest of their lives to the bride and groom. Thank you. All my night.